What's up guys and welcome to the tarot. I am the energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the collective message for everybody. What's up guys? So I feel like awesome when I feel guided to do a collective because I don't do these on the regular. Um, so I always feel like it's very important, very imp imperative when I do do them because I feel like there's a message that needs to get out. Um, so here we are. Um, I do mine a little differently. I will have the timestamps below. So the first section is going to be tarot. I'm going to pull some cards, clarify. And then the second one part, the second part is going to be only oracles. Pull some cards, clarify. Only oracles though. Okay. All right, collective. So I hope you guys are all doing beautifully well today. Let's see what's going on with the collective spirit. A lot of pain, a lot of disappointment, but I feel like that pain and disappointment is the drive that you need to push you towards the things that you truly want. The full, yeah, it could be in the beginning. Four of Cups. Mm -hmm. It's like after the pain and the disappointment, you see the way. Okay. Collective, what's going on with the collective? Six of Swords in reverse. So there's something here that um, you feel stuck. You know, the Ten of Wands in reverse. You dropped the burden, though. So are you really stuck? You have the Eight of Cups in reverse. And now you want to go back to something that you have walked away from. You have the Ace of Cups in reverse. You walked away from it because there was no love in the situation. You have the star. Your wish is here. Do you have Aquarius in your chart? You have the Queen of Cups. Wow. There's a lot of love here. I feel like your wish um, is going to come after all the situation. You could have went back to something um, that you already let go of, that you dropped here because you were stuck in the, in the situation. When you went back, you realized that you shouldn't have went back, okay? Because there was no love there. It's like you went back to something and it was the same way you left it. But you had to go back. Because with the star here and the queen of cups, like you had to know that that's not where you were supposed to go. You have the queen of swords in reverse. And the tower in reverse. Um... <clears throat> I feel like um, whatever your wish is, it's like hard to obtain. It's hard to, it's being very, um, this, could be, this could be a person. I feel like it's a person, but I'm trying to keep it general because it is a collective reading. Bottom of the deck is the King of Cups. Um, I feel like whatever this is, this thing is that you, your wish that you truly care about here, I feel like is now in an energy where it's like they don't want to hear it. Um, there's something about like um, where this energy doesn't believe you or this tower is in reverse. It's like, did you really change? Did you really do what you needed to do? type of thing this could be how you feel about someone all right what is the six of swords here you have the queen of queen of swords and the queen of cups could be a same sex situation here um i feel like things got stuck here and you had to look at a situation in a very logical way here um you cared a lot about this here but you had to turn into someone who was thinking about it logically like this a plus b equals c and you had to move in a way where you you weren't going to regret it like you didn't feel guilty about moving in that way because that's what the situation called for. What is this Ten of Wands in reverse? You have the Seven of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like you dropped this and let this go at the perfect time because there was a lot of sneaky stuff. Somebody wasn't being honest here. The Wheel of Fortune. It's like the perfect time. The perfect time. You dropped this at the perfect time, bro. What is this Eight of Cups in reverse? You have the page of coins. 
yeah and i feel like i feel like you went back because an offer was made or an apology was said the two of cups in reverse but when you went back you realized that something is definitely still not good um what is this ace of cups in reverse you have the hermit i feel like this made you go into hermit mode into seclusion into soul searching and figuring out what you truly want and which direction you want to go in next with two of cups yeah because i feel like this could be like somebody offered you an apology and they like um you know they over they over over elaborated their apology you know like they overdid it making you think that something was going to be something that it's not okay what is the star here i like how the star is in the middle of the of the energies though you have the temperance here yeah i feel like your wish comes in once you heal once you balance this stuff out the ace of coins in reverse you were supposed to reject that you weren't supposed to take it you weren't supposed to go back because you needed to go back in order for you to heal what is this queen of cups you have the nine of coins in reverse hmm. um now whatever this energy is over here that you're going towards i feel like six of swords is in reverse it's not a pentacles is in reverse i feel like this energy <clears throat> I feel, this is not, I feel this is a person. Okay. And I feel like this person feels like you, um, like you're, like you're asking for too much, like you're too needy is what this seems like. Where's this queen of swords in reverse? But why are they acting like this queen of swords in reverse? The ten of pentacles in reverse with the two of cups in reverse. So this person is sour about something that's not going so good right now in their family or their finances. And they're just like, I don't want to hear it. And I feel like that whatever's not working out when it comes to their family or their finances is really, really affecting them emotionally as well. And it's making them like see you in a certain way. But I don't feel like like I feel like I feel like they're making you to look like a certain way when it's not that um because they're going through some type of situation what is a tower in reverse you have the hangman with the six of swords in reverse there could be there could be like an idea or something that you're going to pitch to this person and um it's going to require them to change their perspective now, you have to understand that this person, on top of them going through something with their family or their finances, um, you know, that now you're also asking them to change it. Like, <laughs> like, like, I'm just I'm showing you I'm trying to help you understand this person because I feel like this person is coming off like not how they feel, but it's because they got a lot of stuff going on. And I feel like you're going to be like, you're going to come in and try to have them like change their perspective on something. And they're, they're kind of, at first I feel like they're refusing, but then they have the hangman. So I feel like they, they're trying to look at it in a different way. They're trying to see if they can see it a different way, if they'll be comfortable with it in a different way. But I feel like this person is just. I don't know. It's like they're going through stuff, bro. It's like they don't want to hear it right now. Let me get some more on this. You have the six of coins in reverse. The three of cups. Could be somebody in your family or a friend. And the two of cups in reverse. Yeah, I feel like this person... Um, they're not with it right now. They're just not. Okay? Six of coins is in reverse. They're not going to give you what you, put, what you give them. The devil. This person could be... Um, thinking very negatively right now they could just be like in a negative state because like i said things are not working out for this person when it comes to their finances or their money and it's like it's putting them like they feel like a little sour you know is what it feels like so yeah that's what i got for you let me write this down 
Y'all could skip this if y'all want, but I have to write this down because I'm not going to forget. Okay. So now we're going to do the Oracle portion. Portion. The Oracle portion is my fave. Just a little secret. For those of you that are watching still. <laughs> um, all right. So what are we going to do? I want to do these. Do, 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 do. And these. Okay. I'm going to do the little ones first. All right. Oracle message. For the collective. <laughs> What song is that? I don't even know what that is. All right. You have Wolf Moon. I will watch over you. Wow. You have someone that has passed away or a really amazing guide guiding you right now. Okay. You have Little Red Riding Hood. I am not a victim. And you have Sea Dark, <laughs> Deep Dark Sea Mermaid. Find solutions in the unknown places in the dark. I feel like your guide or this person, whoever this person is that's watching over you, is guiding you to um, kind of rebel. Like, move. Like, just do it. Like, just do it. Like, that's what I'm getting with the I'm not a victim. Um, and I feel like you're going to find a lot of your answers in in places that you never even thought. Because you're just, like, being a rebel. Like, you're just doing it. Yeah. <laughs> You have pose brave flight. You will not let fear stop you this time. Yeah, and, and I and I feel like it's gonna. It's a little scary. It's new energy. It's 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 a different way of doing things. A different way of moving. Okay. You have the mermaid of immersion. Complete commitment. Yeah, but I feel like the universe is like it's kind of like, like they're testing you as well. Like how much do you trust us? How much do you trust me? How much do you trust yourself? Okay. You have a fairy ring, new skills, advanced training, rapid improvements. And I feel like you start something new here. You start something new. Wow. Then you have a beautiful little worm. Take care of yourself. I feel like whatever this new thing that's going to happen, it's going to show you um, a different way to take care of yourself and the things around you. And that was the purpose. The mermaid and the turtle, an elder will teach you here. I feel like whatever this new thing is that you're going to start, that you're going to commit to here, you're going to have this um, for a very long time. Okay? A very long time. Like, you're going to grow old with whatever this is. Okay? Bottom of the deck is two kittens. You must choose. But you can only... Okay. You're going to have to decide. You're going to have to make a decision here. Um... And um, I feel like while all this is happening, you, you have two, two, two avenues to go, two ways to go. And you're going to have to choose one and commit to it. But I feel like you're going to choose the right one because you're going to be guided. It's going to be the one that probably like, you're just like, what? I don't want to do that. <laughs> it's always that one. That's always the one that brings growth and change. All right, so what is this wolf moon here? You have conclusion. Yeah. I feel like this person is is guiding you to end something because you got you can't bring that other kitten with you. You know what I'm saying? You can only choose one. Okay. So that's why they somebody is guiding you to end something here. What is little red riding hood? Chaos. Yep. Get frisky, get risky, start a tornado, start a riot. Who cares? Make sure that you're following your sole purpose, though. I feel like there's something here that you know um, that you should do and you know that it might wrap, um, ruffle some feathers. Do it anyway. And I'm talking to somebody who does not have any bad intentions towards someone or something. This is somebody who purely knows in their heart and in, and in their soul that they have to do something. But doing that is going to uh, make other people around them upset or mad. And that's why the universe is like, do it, do it, you know? 
type of thing. What is this um, deep, dark sea mermaid? You have loyalty here. Um, yeah, I feel like you're going to become a lot more loyal to your guides, to yourself. You're going to start trusting yourself a lot more because whatever this information is that you're going to find out um, by like moving this way is going to be very beneficial for you. Like you're going to be like, oh my gosh. What is this pose brave flight? You have self-worth and high priestess of spirit. So I feel like you taking this leap, this you taking this um this leap is is like you're showing the universe what your what your worth, what your self-worth is here. Like you're being guided right now by your angels, by this person who passed away. It could even be a pet who passed away. Okay, their soul is all up in this right now because it's definitely not easy what you're it's definitely uncomfortable what you're trying to do but i feel like you're you're choosing this because you know you deserve better okay because you're worth more what is the mermaid of immersion you have the warrior you have fought you have fought probably all your life okay you have message yep and i feel it's going and i feel like what you have been fighting for, like the justice, the self-worth, the I deserve this and I'm going to fight tooth and nail for this. You know, this is how I deserve to be treated. This is, how I deserve, this is what I deserve in my life. Whatever it is for you, you're going to you're going to be able to obtain that energy that you've been wanting for and fighting for. OK, what is the fairy ring here? Like you're going to commit to it. You have fragment. I feel like you know this though. I feel like you can see this new thing that you're going to um, be committed to. You're going to be able to, it's like you can kind of see it, but not really. Like your intuition is kind of like peaking a little bit. High priestess of earth. This could have to be with your stability here. Your finances, you know, it's very stable. Like you know, you're good. Like you, you're trusting everything that you cannot see right now. You're having a lot of faith, which is very good. What is um, a beautiful little worm? You have risk. Yep. It is definitely a risk here for you to do whatever this is that you're doing, but you're still going to do it here. I also feel like you taking care of yourself and like whatever this new thing is that you're committing to yourself, it's going to show you how to take care of yourself, but you're going to have to be willing to take a risk. And whatever this risk is, I feel like it's going to be very beneficial for you. You have focus. Yeah, it's going to be a new endeavor. Like you're going to be very much happy and focused and doing something that your soul, your spirit really um, is calling you to do. What is the mermaid and the turtle? <laughs> just in time. Something could happen just in time. Okay. Because my, my candle just went out just in time when I'm on the last card. Okay. You have playful here. Um, is that my stomach? Did y'all hear that? <laughs> anyway, you have playful. So I feel like the whole time that this that this energy is in your life, it's going to be very lighthearted, very playfulness. It's not going to feel challenging. It's not going to feel hard. Like I said, you're going to be committed to this until you grow old, until you're wrinkly. And if you're already wrinkly and old, then you're going to commit to this until the day you leave this planet. Um but whatever this is, it's going to be very lighthearted, very fun, adventurous with the playful energy. You have meditation, very peaceful, very calming. Like once you commit to this, it's like your whole life just becomes like just a relaxation. Um, and I feel like you've been waiting for that. And it's coming. All right, collective, that's all that I have. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.